Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to convert a data from B3 number to hexadecimal number. So here I will give us a commands. So wherever semicolon is there, that is the corresponding commands. So the input is going to be a 15 decimal. At first, we will try to unpack this number into 0, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 5. So but how to unpack? By means of AND, and logic, we can mask the lower, lower nibble or higher nibble. So at first we will mask the lower nibble. So by using AND logic, with F0, hexadecimal value, the output will be one zero h now output will be one zero likewise we will unpack the lower nibble separately so for that we will take input once again the input value is 15 and then once again we will do the and logic and logic with zero f so the output will be 0, 5. So we have unpacked separately as here 10 and 0, 5. So to convert into hexadecimal value, whatever the MSB data, the corresponding data has been separated, that value will be multiplied with 0, A. So the output 10 will be swap. The swap what to do how to perform swap the instruction called swap so swap means what the corresponding lower nibble will go to higher nibbles and higher nibble will come to the lower nibbles so one zero becomes zero one after swapping it becomes zero one then the zero one will be multiplied with a value zero a so the output is zero a 0 a and then to find a output of x decimal this 0 a will be added with the higher bit maskable output 0 5 so the output will be 0 a plus 0 5 so the addition of a with 5 a plus 5 is the value is f so it will be 0 f is the output so this is the logic behind to convert a B3 data into hexadecimal data. So now let's see the program, how to write a program for this logic. So at first we need to, we need, we need to input twice because for once for F0H for masking your lower bits and then masking your higher bits. So at first we will write a program. So move A comma 30H. 30H is the address. From 30H is the address. So in 30H, you can see here, I have stored a value called 14. That 14 moves to a A register. I will move the same data into a one register because in future, I need a same input once again. So R5, A. And then I will perform AND logic. AND logic. AND logic A comma ash 0 f 0 h so now this will mask your lower bits so after masking the lower bits we will get the output called 1 0 so now we need swap so for swapping the instruction called swap a so after swapping it becomes 0 1 after swapping it becomes 0 1 I will store this value of 0, 1 in one register. So move R1, comma A. So we have done this part. So now we will take the input once again from the R5 register. Move A, comma R5. And we will mask the corresponding higher bits by AND logic A and L. A, comma asterisk one 
zero f epsilon value. So after masking the bits, it will become zero five. We will load into your own register move r two comma a. The after and logic, the output will be zero five. The zero five moves to the r two register. So now we will take this zero one. So where we have stored this zero one in a R one register. So from R one register we will take this zero one into a register. So move a comma R one. So now we have stored this zero one in a accumulator register. We will multiply the this zero one with zero a accessible data. So for that at first we will move this. Zero a data into an v register. So move b comma ash zero a h, and then multiply the both the data. So multiply a and b. After multiplication, the output stores in the a register. So the zero a will be loaded in the stores in the a register. So add a comma the another input will be zero five. The zero five stores in the R two register. So add a comma R two. So after addition, the output stores in the A register. To see the output in one memory location, we will move the data into one memory location. Move thirty one H comma A and jump dollar, which perform no operation. So. This is the basic program for to convert the data from B C to hexadecimal. So now we have given the input called 14, and let's see what is the output comes in the program. So you can give another input also something called 12. I have given the input called 12. Let us run the program. No errors, and then run the program. So you can see here. The output is C. The input is 12. The input is 12, and the corresponding hexadecimal value is C. So this is the basic way to write a program to convert from B3 data to hexadecimal data. Thank you for watching.